myself. How embarrassing. What's up guys and welcome to Aruba. I have never been to Aruba before. I am so excited for this stay. This really means a lot to me because this is my first official work trip with a resort. I've worked internationally with places before but this is the first time that I've worked with an all-inclusive and I just really can't believe this is my life. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me and helping me live my dreams every day because I would never be able to do this without any of you and I so don't feel cool enough to be able to be doing this but I am like really in shock right now I need to give you guys a room tour I'm so excited we have a whole itinerary planned it's Monday and we're staying till Friday and I am here with my best friend ever so Hi. guys so so is like Soph is like when I was wanting to do blogging originally and like I was too scared to do it and like I didn't even want to tell anyone I wanted to do it because I was so nervous people were gonna like make fun of me or what people would say Soph was the first person that ever bought me my first ring light and she always encouraged me to follow my dreams and now it's just so full circle that I'm able to bring her on a trip out of the country with me and I'm just so excited to be here with her and to be able to share this experience with her so just in a really great mood guys I haven't been this excited in a really long time so let's do a little room tour and then we're gonna have a great time okay so they really spoiled us over here we got the living room and we have two balconies guys so this one has like a table and a little lounge chair and over here there is another table and lounge chair pool is right out there I'll show you guys that view in a second and then it also connects to our bedroom here we have a literal whole dining room table a whole kitchen insane like a full kitchen they gave us all these little goodies champagne some wine. We haven't checked the bathroom yet, let's see. There's two. No way. Yeah. There's two? Yeah. Oh my gosh, so we have two, two bathrooms. Wait, so this was four years ago? Oh my god. We would talk about Dress Up Buttercup and Champagne and Chanel, Dee Dee and Emily, and we wanted to be them after nursing at dental school. No, literally. And now we're here. Now it's we're crazy. here. Yeah, there's another bathroom in there. Oh my god, awesome. Here is our bedroom, and there's another bathroom in here, which is so nice. Oh my gosh, there's so much room for just the two of us. Woo! And then I'll show you guys the view. Here is our view, guys. So you've got me a thank you gift for bringing her here. She doesn't get me anything. Wait, yeah, so... Oh my God. Guys, we've been like flopping around like fish <laughs> trying to film this alpha transition. What am I saying? It's not an alpha transition. It's like a tropical transition. So hopefully it works. I brought my GoPro for it and everything. We, so We're putting in the work. We really are. Like I'm like sweating. This was just, I thought it'd be good for her. You've seen her on TikTok doing the let a filter pick my outfit. And I thought it was a fun color. Stop. Oh my gosh. This is so sweet. Yes. Thank you. Oh, of course. Oh my God. We thought the color was so fun. Look, it's like a little Kate Spade clutch. Oh my god! Especially like the night we're wearing yeah. like pink. Yeah. Oh my god. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of you. Of You're so thoughtful. You guys saw the charcuterie board they gave us. They gave us all these chocolate covered nuts, more nuts, and we we're gonna pop that champagne soon. Oh, have a little know. glass of wine, and they gave me a little note. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So we're in the midst of getting ready, and I was like, this would be better with the champagne. So Soph is gonna open it for us. I'm a little nervous. I always mess up the champagne when I try. Also, for any boys watching this, you can't love me at this. <laughs> Dude, honestly, it's so human out here that the screen's falling up. Is it actually? Yeah, but you look like a rock star. What do you mean? A beautiful. You gotta <laughs> take a breather. <laughs> Guys, so they told us that we were gonna get a five course tasting meal tonight, but they didn't really give us any details. And come to find out, we're literally on this beautiful beach eating dinner with the view of this sunset at the most beautiful resort I think I've ever been to. Like, I'm literally just in awe. Like, I've been so shocked that this is happening to me. Like, I don't understand how I got this lucky. I mean, I did manifest this life for a very long time, but the fact that it's really here is just, God is great, man. And I'm just really happy to be here with Sophia and be able to bring her here. I could cry right now. <laughs> no one knows better than Sophia Farrell about how literally three years ago, we were just <laughs> drinking Burnett's and Smirnoff in North Philadelphia on the streets. And now it's like we're in Aruba and it's for my job and I'm just like. You did it, you've made it. We're trying. We're trying our best. Okay guys, so we just had the most incredible dinner of our lives at Pure Ocean. And we met 
Merit. And Merit was the general food and beverage manager at the Pure Ocean slash Phoenix TV Resorts. And when I tell you that she was the coolest girl I've ever met on any kind of hotel restaurant collab in my entire life. So she sat down with us and I thought she was gonna be like, oh hi, like how was your food? And like, go away. She sat down and was like, can I have a glass of wine? And I was like, I like this girl. She got us transportation home. She showed us that we have a rooftop balcony with a f jacuzzi. So we're gonna go look at it. Come on guys, we gotta go look at it together. Don't get the keys. That's a brochure. <laughs> That's a brochure. Um, okay. Wait, so I don't understand. Cause like, got us in here. So I hate like being in charge of keys. <laughs> oh, here they are. Hey guys, welcome to my crib. <laughs> morning it is time for a hot girl walk so last night was like one of the best dinners i've ever had atmosphere wise it was called pure ocean highly recommend and i don't know what is in the water in aruba but the staff every single person we've encountered has been so pleasant so kind and so so nice to be around like everyone from the managers to the waiters to the people who helped us with our bags like i'm really enjoying aruba and it has been amazing so far a couple things we've learned about aruba so far you now when you go to like a foreign country or an island or something and everyone's like don't drink the water like especially in Mexico it's not like that here everybody drinks the water here and apparently the water in Aruba is some of the most what is the word clean what Sam water in Aruba is some of the cleanest in the world so um you don't have to worry about that here which is really cool and we are about to go explore the beach we're just going for a walk right now maybe gonna get some breakfast and then do a quick workout and then I think hit the beach again but in our bathing suits or the pool so Yep. So we're on our hot girl walk just trying to get our surroundings and there is an infinity pool over here we have to go later and a swim up bar. So definitely gonna be hitting that. Okay guys, so we just ran into Dominic, who is the food and beverage manager here at Divi Golf. And we right now are at Mulligan's, and Mulligan's is one of the restaurants that is included in the all-inclusive. So the last time we did an all-inclusive, it was a little bit more casual, um, and it was like, kind of like a buffet style, where here, it's like a sit-down, which is really cool. So it's like a sit-down and eat type of vibe, and you have like a waiter and a waitress and everything. So I really like that aspect as well. I will put which restaurants are included in the all-inclusive, and which ones are extra down below. Mulligan's is definitely one that is included. They have great windows in these restaurants. So literally, funny enough, this one's called Mulligan's and upstairs is actually called windows and that's like more of an upscale bar and dinner type of vibe and this is like a little bit more casual. Here's the view from our window. You can see the water over there and the golf course as well. The view is just gorgeous. Look at the iguanas, guys. Uh, giving us a meaning call. Okay, we just got breakfast at Mulligan's. We both just got like eggs and bacon. I like really had a terrible headache when I was there. I think that I got pretty nauseous from taking my vitamins and stuff before we ate. Still a lot better now and we're headed to the beach. So, oh my gosh, the water here is so amazing. So we did a little beach walk this morning to try and figure out where to go. So I think we're just gonna head down there and figure it out. So they give you a towel and a chair, which is really nice. And they have all of these cabana umbrellas um so that's what soap and i are sitting under right now i like i'm just a little bit nervous to um get burnt so you do need reef safe sunscreen when you're in aruba they weren't like strict about it though like looking through to see if that's what we were using but i suggest bringing it ahead of time because i wasn't sure if sunbum was and apparently it is and in jersey sunbum is like 16 dollars here it's 35 so Definitely pack it unless you're gonna pay double for it because obviously supply and demand. But anywho, I'm gonna try and test out the water. My gosh, she's so cute. No way. There's a little gecko under our feet at the bar. But we went to the beach for a couple hours and then we just got a little hungry so we decided to come over to the pool. And there's a bar right here. So we got chicken fingers and nachos and then we're gonna sit at the pool for a little bit. We also got strawberry margarita. It's 2 p.m. so it's like, you know, it's a good time to start.
vlog. This is Soph's first lobster tail. My eyes are disgusting, I'm sorry. I'm having really bad allergies, guys, but Soph is about to have her first lobster tail. I'm really excited, so here we go. If you're on Sam's channel, I cannot tell you how lucky you are to have somebody to like look up to and just like, no, it makes her, no, seriously, like Sam has changed my life for the absolute better. And she's and changed mine, guys. And I think that Sophie's gonna try and do a YouTube channel. So if she does, please subscribe because she's the best. Oh my God. Yeah, wait, I think it'd be fun. That's like something I always wanted to do, but. Please do it. I've never had. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you, Mildred. It looks so good. I've never had lobster tail, so I'm gonna do it for you guys on the vlog. Oh, is this it? I'm so excited. Okay, one bite. Everybody knows the rules. Thank you so much. It's so good. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm here. Oh my god, okay, bye. We always eat dessert on this channel. And you should too. Something I've always wanted to do, if you've watched this far, comment down below a place you're like dying to go because Ruba's always been on my list and the fact that Sammy brought me here is just like, oh, manifest this, I'm gonna bring stuff other friendship. places. So no, if you I guys know, like seeing us yeah, together and we wanna, wanna go. go anywhere else and you wanna yeah, see it, please them. let us know because we would love to go anywhere else together and we'll show you everything about it so you can go too, okay? We love you so much, thank you for watching and you guys are my best friends. Good morning okay. guys, we are here to golf this morning. So if didn't have a collared shirt so now she has this beautiful Divi Resorts golf tee on and we are about to get started. There's a wedding party of 20 men behind us and I was like, oh, you guys can go ahead of us and they were like, no, don't worry, we're waiting for 16 more. I was like, oh my God, like this is our first, my first time golfing and I'm really um, excited but a little bit nervous. I knew that I'm gonna look like maybe a rookie so we'll see how it goes. Here we go, guys. Hold on, imagine this. You're here for your wedding and you're, you're behind these two girls <laughs> that are trying to do this today because that's that man's reality right behind <laughs> All right, here we go, Soph go Sophia on. Woods Farrell. <laughs> one thing about Soph and I is that we dated best friends in college that were both on the golf team. One being my now current boyfriend, but, oh, I don't even know if I told you guys that we're dating again, but yeah, now my current boyfriend again. And uh, Sophia's ex is, I've explained the situation to you before. Sophia's ex is also my best friend, Aaron, who was featured on the vlog as well. So, still really good friends with both of them, great people. So, Aaron Tobin, this one's for you. Aaron Tobin, this is for every time you drove Sophia to the driving range. <laughs> Don't worry about her, honey. <laughs> First shot. Who's in the water? Oh my god. <laughs> that was good. So I'm trying to give me some, you know, confidence here. This girl hasn't stopped running. Oh my god, what's the power on this one? Hold please. But I did it in 14. So we're having such a great time here and I'm really enjoying it, but my allergies are so bad. Like last night, you can kind of see my eyes. Like last night during dinner, they wouldn't stop watering and it's happening again today and I'm really hoping that they subside. I took allergy medicine, I don't know what else to do, but it's weird. It's like all of a sudden this year, I have really bad eye allergies. So I'll have to go to the doctor when I get back and figure that out. I want to hold three. Come on guys. It's me, Sam's 65 year old freaking friend in this outfit. No big deal if you're Greek and you have like insane hair like I do. Rube is not the place for you. Like, literally, obviously, I need it cut. It's like a comb. You know what? This is me at my best. Dude, I'm so glad Sam didn't see that because I just knocked the camera. Shh, don't tell her. It worked. We do have an obstacle in front of us, which is an extremely large cactus. Let's see how she works this trick shot, folks. Sophia 
five foot something. This cactus has to be eight or nine. Yeah, you can get it out of there a little bit. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> I feel like I have a wig on. I'm coming, Sammy! I'm coming! Oh, let me get a little closer. Let me get a little bit. Oh, yeah. Incredible. We love golf, yes we do. We want a pitcher, not a belly hitcher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a belly hitcher. No belly hitchers here. <sighs> Makeup's running in my eyes, and that was our best shot. She never done. Call us for all your golf lessons. Get that driver, girl. So why is it zooming in like this? Close. Come here, just so you know, you have to wear a collar shirt. I think that's pretty standard for most golf courses, but I think it, it, like I thought maybe at a resort it would be a little bit different. Like I wasn't sure at like an island if it was different. Hi, Hi. how are you? We're getting a lot better actually. I'm are having a lot more fun. Balls? Guys, we survived golf. I don't know if this is sunburn or it's just the mark for my sunglasses or the mark for my sunglasses rub my sunscreen off so much right here that it's a burn. But anyway, whew, we made it through, it's so hot. One thing about Aruba is it is so bloody hot, but it's so windy that it kind of makes up for it. But if you're just standing in the sun for a second, it really, really is hot. We have our boat tour at 1.30. It is like 10 something, so we're just going to recharge for a little bit, maybe hit the pool. And then at 1.30, we're gonna head there. So I'm really excited to take you guys on the tour with us, the Pelican Boat Tour, and we'll see how it goes. It's a booze cruise slash snorkeling, but I think Soap and I decided for the rest of the trip, we're really just gonna take it easy, not drink so much, and just focus on content. So, we'll Let's check in a little bit. Wait, yeah, there's a baby gecko in our room. Oh my gosh, so cute. His head's so big. Okay guys, so we got a quick bite to eat for lunch, and I got a little bit of work done, so I feel a little bit better. I got my emails done and stuff. Right now we're heading in a taxi to Pelican Tours. So if you come to Aruba, they don't do Uber or Lyft here. Everything is a taxi, but they're really easy to get. The front desk helped me get one, and the Pelican Tour is the snorkel cruise that we're going on today. So I've never snorkeled before. I'm really excited. It's like a two and a half hour long tour. I think it's gonna be cool. So and I are really trying to film this TikTok transition, and I really, really hope that it works, but we'll have to see how it goes like the one where someone dives on a bed and then you like are in the water so I'm really hoping that we can do that but it's interesting to see outside of our resort so they keep saying that like Aruba is really being built up a lot more like the tourism really has exploded in the past few years which is really cool so they do have a lot of like Americanized places as well like they have McDonald's KFC Wendy's like all kinds of places that we have at home and like Hilton's like also hotel chains that we have there in the States as well. But um, it definitely feels very modernized, even more so than Cabo and other places that I've been that are a little bit more tropical. I thought about doing a flip. Your job yeah. is good though. Thank you. I was on the diving team. What person, and this person is Sam, has a GoPro and doesn't have a stick with it? She says, don't lose it. Where's the stick? We went to somewhere closer to the beach and then there was a second stop and it was actually a shipwreck and I was like, it was really cool. We snorkeled and we got to see that and that was the first time I'd ever snorkeled. So the first time it was cool because you could either just swim, like jump off and like we tried to do this dive transition and I hope that it worked but we would just like jump off the boat and it was so fun and we did 
that first and then the second time around we stormed it. So it was like really, really cool. Highly recommend. And it was also an open bar. We didn't drink because we got a little too drunk last night, but it was um, definitely something that I would recommend if you're coming here. And now we're at Mulligan's to eat like Soap said. And um, yeah, so after the tour, we just went home and really got ready. It's funny, it's like I never wear eyeliner anymore. And um, when I pulled up my front camera, I was like, whoa, it's not that big of a difference. But to me, I guess, because I haven't worn it in so long, it feels like it. But I don't know. So we're going to order and we'll let you know what we get. You guys, I decided on the steak. So we'll see how it is. I got that with sweet potato wedges and some veggies. So I've got bolognese. So I'll show you that real quick. We're eating good tonight. <laughs> good morning, guys. Okay, so Soap and I woke up to watch the sunrise. Do you guys hear the birds and stuff around us? Okay, this is literally what Sam <laughs> just told me to put the tri camera on. Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. We're your hosts, Soap and Sam. Guys, listen to how annoying our sunscreen is. Soap is like, why does this sound like a printer? Like genuinely, listen. <laughs> <laughs> also, I comment below if you're a person that puts your sunscreen on before the beach or after the beach. Yeah. I've been a beach baby my entire life and I've never, I guess like my parents might have put lotion on me before we left the house type of thing, but, but myself, I've never been like, oh, let me do it beforehand. I always am someone that just does it at the beach and it's such a game changer to do it before because you're not sandy, which like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever said out loud. I've said a lot of dumb things out loud, but this one's really... <laughs> so the apparel! <laughs> like, what is your vibe right now? I want the hat on so I can take the bun out, but I have to put sunscreen on because I have put acne medication on. Before our trip, Soap and I made these really cute <laughs> seashell phone cases together, so we would have matching phone cases for our vacation. And she forgot hers in North Philadelphia, so it's just collecting dust in her apartment in North Philly. <laughs> so if anybody wants to come over and have a beach team party, I have a phone case. I'll bring my fun boy float with people for a second. I hope she puts in a segment right now where it's like chats with stuff. Okay. So here are some things about Aruba. This is my last video. I put her name at the bottom and accidentally when I typed it, I wrote dope instead of soap. So it literally is like making cookies with dope. <laughs> Here are my honest thoughts about Aruba. If you've lived in a city, I don't know how other cities are on the West Coast, but I have been living in Philly for six years and I lived in like Fort Lauderdale, Miami area. Oh, that's cute. And so when we got here, they were like, oh, like you're gonna pay like $9 for a beer. Like it's really expensive. And I like, I like wasn't like really shocked if I'm being real. I would say the prices in Aruba are comparable to a big city. Like I it's agree. not nearly as expensive as LA or New York, I would say, but it, it's, I would say it's like the same as like an Austin, Dallas, Philly, um, Philly area. But even Miami, depending where you go. Like obviously yeah. not like the clubs and stuff, yeah. but like if you go to like Fort Lauderdale. But so like I think like if you've lived in a city, then it's fine. Here's some things that I don't think are necessary. I am holding seventy dollars worth of sunscreen in my hands. Seventy. Yeah. Thirty-five. 35 I okay did tell them that earlier but seriously like honestly and this one's almost out that's so why it sounds it. like that like it is so worth it to pack sunscreen in your bag to come here especially I agree. because like think about it like you 50 pounds in your luggage you could bring two of these and like your bag's 30 bucks so it's so worth it to like take out a pair of jean shorts and put in a sunscreen because look at literally 34 75 wild and this is at the resort so i'm assuming it probably is also this yeah like much sure, like but i'm not sure and 34 75 we were like whoa but okay i promise you we're not that dumb it's the fact that if you like go online and do research that one thing we both really love because like we're environmentally friendly and like love like the earth and all that stuff is that aruba only uses reef safe sunscreen which i think is literally amazing but we didn't know that they weren't gonna like check because like i know that sun bum is reef safe but i wasn't sure if like through with like customs and stuff like bringing stuff home or like bringing stuff in like, our parents were like just buy it there so like now you know like no one's checking but like obviously just like be considerate of like the rules and like the planet and stuff. Something that's really different if you are from the US watching this or wherever you are in the world, you might not have this issue, is that in the US, like if you go like traveling somewhere, like you're really gonna get like bottles of water places and you're not gonna like drink tap water. And like, I know you've heard like certain places will be like, don't drink the water. Like I even learned like that in one of my science courses, like how sick you can get from it. Here in Aruba, 
it is all tap water you buy bottled water and like sam probably said this earlier but we were both saying like we're so dehydrated right now because like it's just like instinct to not want to drink the tap water like even in philadelphia like i don't drink the tap water because i'm like no but that's all there is here and so i feel like i've like i woke up this morning and i was like so puffy and i feel like i am like my entire body is just like carrying water weight so whatever but love your body drink your water and i think that we're gonna go to um, one of the sister resorts for dinner tonight so we're gonna go, go to the infinity pool now make some tiktoks hang out journal also this is like really funny and then chats with Zoph is over but <laughs> my mom is just like the cutest and she's like you need to like start like she got me a word a word search thing and a magazine to like read before bed because i was gonna get a kindle but the blue light and i just like have like really bad sleep issues we buy this right during shark week this is lit okay i'm like so excited to read this <laughs> <laughs> I said to Sammy, I go, I said, can we read this together later? Like a freaking five year old. <laughs> and she goes, oh yeah, perfect. She was like, my cousin Melissa, hey Melissa, love ya. Hope to see you soon. But was like, she needs them for her classrooms. I was like, so like, I'm gonna be real. Like my mom's a teacher too, but I was like, I just like bought this and I haven't read it yet. And she starts losing it. She's like, I thought it was just the hotels that I could do. <laughs> I was like, no, dude, it's fine. But okay, I'm gonna flip the camera. All right. Oh so my god, such a sleigh. Tell me where everything's from. This wrap is from Fashion Nova. Okay. So it's from Black Can I Bell. zoom in on it? Yes. Okay, guys. I was so playing with it seashells. earlier, and be careful you don't snag it on stuff. But like, it's such a fashion moment. I love it. Yeah. And this is the first time I've worn it. And then this is from Black Bow. This hat I wear all the time is like a cowboy seashell hat thing from Lulu's. These are from Key. K. I literally can never say. It. Tea? It's key. Mm -hmm. Quay. I say quay. I used to say quay too, and then somebody quay was Australia. They were like, Australia. Are you serious? It's key. And I was like, yeah. You're joking. And just my rainbows. I love my rainbows. So, yeah, Cute. we're heading to the pool. It's our last full day in Aruba, so we're going to soak up the sun a little bit, and we're excited. But yeah, we are loving it here. Like she said, the only things that are different from where, where we've been before is definitely the water situation, the sunscreen situation, and then I think that's it. It does feel a lot safer here than other places that I've been, though. So, oh, yeah. that is something to keep in mind. I think this is a really great place to come if you you're really not used to traveling to a foreign country or traveling to an island or something like that. I think it's like very, the word isn't user friendly, but it's very like accommodating. Like they're very helpful with telling you where to go and how to do things. And like, they're very hospitable here. So I think it's a good place to go to get yourself it's a very good and safe place to go if you're not used to traveling a lot, for sure. And there's like a strip downtown they showed us, but like Divi is very cool in the fact that like we were having like a wholesome night like journaling and talking about like goals and like watching Love Island and like still like have such a good day. So like I know a lot of people don't drink or party scene's not their vibe and it's still like such a great place to vacation because I know that's hard with some places that yeah, um, people travel to. But all right, we'll see you at the pool. Bye. I just tried to put my cover up on and I literally put it on inside out and backwards. So it was like, come on. Figure it out. All right, guys, we were at the pool for a little bit. I journaled, so and I grabbed lunch and swam around. It was so hot, honestly, here. I've been laying in the shade a lot and I never do that, but because the sun is so hot, I've been opting for that a little bit more, but we just got ready really quickly and we're headed to Pure Indulgence in the Phoenix Divi Resort for a massage. So super excited about that. And we're about to go in. All right, guys, we're all grouped up. We chose the sea breeze. I think we're gonna be outside, I'm not sure, so I'm excited. Fit check. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it, seems, it seems so nice here. You know what's crazy? It's like, I've done that before with like a stranger. Coming out of the bathroom and I'm like, oh my gosh, that goes so embarrassing. Wait, guys, but look at how they have this mouthwash. I love this idea for like my house in the future. Wait, Lex has one with a Patron bottle. No way, yeah. and like a guest room, I think that's so cute. So, and I just got the best massage of our lives, and now we're at the Red Parrot for our last dinner. And we weren't gonna drink, but our waiter is so funny, and his name is Raphael. And he, like, looked, I don't know, just like the look he gave me, he was so funny. And I was like, I don't know what I want to drink, but you can bring us something. And he bought us these lemon drop drinks, and I know they're so strong, but so Red Parrot is part of the all-inclusive that comes with Divi's package, and it's a pretty nice restaurant. There was a lot more restaurants than we thought there were included, so 
right now we're at Dibby Tamarin, which is next to Dibby Golf, and they have the red parrot, they have a Mexican restaurant, and the woman at the front was telling us that they have hibachi and all different kinds of stuff as well. There's like seven or eight, it seems like, that are included in the all-inclusive, and then a few that are extra as well. So, but oh my gosh. Pure, what was it called? Pure, pure indulgence. Best massage of my life. So good, dude. She cracked my back like four times. It was like as if like she made me just stand straight up. Like it was really good. We might go back for a pedicure tomorrow, so we'll film that as well. But I've never gone to a service like that before and had like someone bring out a little water thing for your feet with rose petals. It was like very fancy schmancy, so it was fun. Oh my, and one last dessert. Guys, I literally cannot believe it's already that time to pack our stuff again. So I really liked Aruba. I don't know how I would rate it yet compared to the other trips you guys have seen. I still need to like digest it a little bit, but overall it was a lot of fun. It's very, very tropical here. Like iguanas everywhere, lots of wildlife, lots of cool birds, lizards, like lots of stuff. Um, the water is beautiful and food was pretty good. I thought most of the food was really good for an all-inclusive. Dinner was just, dinner didn't blow my mind tonight and the buffet earlier was pretty good i would say like standard all-inclusive but like a good a good standard all-inclusive and then i thought like mulligans tasted more like a dinner that you bought for that price that it was listed type of thing and i really really like staying in divi i would recommend it i definitely think that it's very family friendly um it had a lot of different ages here but a lot of families but not too many. It wasn't too crowded here, which I liked as well. It's so big that there's a lot of different places to be able to go, like pool-wise, beach-wise. There's a lot of different activities throughout the day, so it never felt too crowded, which I liked. And there is three sister resorts right in a row on the beach, which is super cool. So, like, my band, even though we were staying at Divi Golf, we got to go to the main Divi tonight, or Divi, Divi Tamarin for dinner, and we went to a restaurant over there, so you can, like, kind of hop around. There's a shuttle that takes you back and forth, but it felt super safe, um, and I would definitely come back like I said I feel like if you've never been out of the country and you're from the United States I think this is a really nice safe place to travel to and it's very straightforward and it's like exactly what you think of when you think of a tropical vacation so I really enjoyed my time and tonight we are just packing up we're gonna watch Love Island and tomorrow we're gonna get pedicures where we got the best massage ever a really great last day me and Soph were kind of running out of steam earlier today at the pool but I think we rallied and we ended up having a really good night so we're just gonna pack up together a little bit then we'll sand on my bed don't tell so yeah i loved it i would definitely come back to aruba that's for sure i don't even know i don't know if there's anywhere that i've traveled to that i said i wouldn't go back to the only place i've ever traveled to that i really didn't like was budapest but i still wouldn't say i wouldn't go back there because people say they love budapest so i feel like i need to give it another shot didn't really need my first aid kit but happy i brought it i stubbed my toe really bad the first night this was like kind of a dramatic trip like things just kept happening like the first night i stubbed my toe and i know that sounds like whatever but like it was so bad it was bleeding a lot and then the next day my allergies were so bad that like i had a meeting with the food and beverage manager here and and oh my gosh, my it was so embarrassing. My eyes would not stop watering. And like, I would, I just like felt really embarrassed because it's like, I, there's nothing I could do about it, but it made me feel unprofessional, even though it's like an uncontrollable. But you know, we just worked through the pain and I think I still did okay. So let's do it guys. Love Island, Starburst time. So Soap, um, this is Molly. So Soap sleeps like this with this dog Molly on her neck with an eye mask and she snores so loud. <laughs> so what about last night? Oh, well last night, like I got so much water in my ear on the boat that like I didn't want to put my earplugs in just in case. Like, I don't know, it just like felt like a bad idea. So like I like literally had a war with myself last night trying to fall asleep again. So snores, but I did succeed. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna hit the hay soon. I'm trying to post my stories. They turned out pretty good actually. I'm so glad that I brought my GoPro on this trip. So I have some GoPro footage in here and this is a GoPro I've literally had since middle school beginning of high school maybe and it's so well knock on wood it wasn't working that well last night but i think it might have just needed to be charged so hopefully it still is with us because honestly like i can't believe how clear the footage is for a camera that's as old as it is so i'd love to continue to use that if possible good night guys good night aruba we'll see you in the morning it's your favorite segment of this vlog 
chats with dope. <laughs> so we just ate this cantaloupe. Is the best cantaloupe I've had in the entire world. I'm so scared to fly today because it's international. And Sam says I'm a nervous flyer and I don't think I am. One thing about Soph is that she worries about everything. <laughs> Like, it doesn't matter what it is. Like, she's worried about it. We'll just be laying there, like, literally just at the pool at an all-inclusive resort yesterday. I think that she said six times. That makes me so nervous. And I'm like, dude, I sympathize with you, but I don't agree with you. Like, I think that, like, I'm just someone that's like, whatever's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. So, like, when it comes to flying, I'm like, I don't know how to fly the plane any better than the pilot. And I want to get there, so let's hope that he's gonna do a good job. And I don't really think about it. I sleep the entire time I'm on a plane. So, have me move my seat to the most, the worst seats in the house for the plane. I had a window seat, and I moved to be in the middle somewhere to sit near her. And then I moved to the middle front row for the second layover because she's in the front row three seats away. <laughs> so like now I'm not even gonna have my backpack and my laptop to work. So like, if she's a panic attack, like, so like, I don't know how to help you from an aisle. No, no, I have, I have Xanax. So it was like a real housewife. <laughs> no, I think that was like a pretty good representation of who I am. But like, I wanted, there was a while where I was like, I could be an ER nurse if I like didn't want to go to dentistry because, no, no, listen, when it comes to me and like I panic, but other people I can keep, I was yeah. in um, cadaver lab for school in anatomy and this girl like cut her hand on the scalpel and she like got really freaked out and like literally fainted and I had to like help the professor and another girl like carry her to the locker room and like fan her, give her water, like bandage her hand and I was like so calm. So like if we get needle stick, like anything like that we have to go to the hospital like we're taking care of blah, blah blah so like i'm really calm when it's other people and like if sammy was like freaking out right now i'd be so calm but like when it's me i'm like but anyways when you come to divi because we loved it so much and know you will too get the cantaloupe it's really good sign it off Guys, it's so funny. This whole vacation has literally been like a honeymoon for Soph and I. Like, I called to get us pedicures at the same place we got massages at last night, and the woman on the phone was like, "Oh my gosh, of course. Um, your name is Sam. What is your husband's name?" And I was like, "Sophia." She's like, "Oh, it's actually my friend. Her name is Sophia." She was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, but it's so funny. It's like we got a couple's massage, and then it's like we had the sunset dinner. It's like everything that people will be doing on their honeymoon is like what we had. We shared a bed, like." Oh my gosh, it's like we actually were on a honeymoon. No, actually. And like yesterday, oh my gosh, if you could have seen us, I'll put a picture right here. They actually turned out so cute. And Soap was like really embarrassed at first. Like I'm just immune to having a tripod out and shooting pictures now. But it's like me and her were like literally twirling in pink matching dresses on the beach during sunset. And like there was a saxophone playing and it was just like the most romantic moment. Like someone had just gotten engaged on the same oh beach God, 10 feet from us before. We weren't, we weren't out there when they were, but like at the same location, I mean. And she was like, do you think everyone thinks we're together? And I was like, probably. I'm not sure, but. Yeah, but I feel like if you're like in like YouTube and an influencer like you are immune to this but like I'm in dental school like yeah I like even still get nervous like sometimes like we'll set up our phones and do time lapses like on our bench and like even doing that people walking by I'm like oh my god that's like embarrassing like it's not like it's just a me thing but we it's got not through. just a you thing I feel like a lot of people feel like that we it's just like I feel like looking back though, when I have the photo or like the footage or whatever, I'm always very thankful that I do have it. So that's why I'm like, whatever, I just gotta- No, I agree. I gotta I get agree. through the embarrassment, you know? <laughs> and now the conclusion. <laughs> Such a nice guy, somewhere, somehow. All right guys, we're about to board. Look at us in our matching hoodies, so corny. So last time I was in Mexico, I don't remember having to go through security twice, but basically we went through security and then we went through customs where you put your iPad down. I mean, what iPad? Where you put your passport down. And then the customs where they ask us questions and then we went through security again because we had to like get our bag back to go through customs the second time. I don't really know, but I don't really remember doing that twice last time I was out of the country, so. Also, of course, I got selected for a random screening. Like I'm always the person that gets pulled out of line to have like, a random check done on them. Yeah, but Aya, she didn't move fast enough to the gate and the door slammed on her and everyone was like, oh. I thought it was because I moved too fast, but maybe it was because I was too slow. Goodbye, I'm going back to my dental school life.
Yeah, so we're not gonna see Soap for a little bit, which is sad, but we had a really good time together. Fun fact, Soap and I literally both the beach houses and we're so busy that we literally, this is the first time we've ever been to the beach together. So it was really awesome. And we didn't fight. No, we didn't. We had a really good time. So that was cool. So thank you for watching my Aruba vlog. Make sure to like and subscribe, follow both of us on Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, and follow me if you want to be a dentist. Yeah, <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. We have a layover in Atlanta and then I will be back in Philly. So I'll try and get this up as soon as I can. All right.